Hello everyone, my name is Karen, today I'm going to do another video. I want to say before I get on the video, Happy New Year to everyone, hope you had a great Christmas, because uh, this is the first video of 2020. So, I uh, thought I'd do a very special one. Today it's going to be about my Queen record collection. I'm going to have my, uh, my 7 inch singles, my 7 inch singles, and all the 12 inch LPs I have on them. And there's a new album which I haven't yet shown before, so this will be cool. So the first single up is Killer Queen, 1974 on EMI. Flick of the wrist. As you can see, it came like that. This in a plain white in a sleeve. Found this in a charity shop in Cowinning. They have Queen's first EP. This is this has 1977. It has Good Old Fashioned Lover Boy, Death on Two Legs, Tentament Funster, and White Queen as it began. So different tracks from different albums. <coughs> this track 1977, as I said. Also 1977. We are the champions with We Will Rock You, both from the News of the World album. Bicycle Race and Fat Bottomed Girls. Crazy Little Thing Called Love with We Will Rock You, the live version. Yes, it is. Save Me with Let Me Entertain You, live. 1980. Thank God it's Christmas with Man on the Prowl and Keep Passing the Open Window. The Invisible Man with Hijack My Heart on Parlophone, 1989. And Bohemian Rhapsody with These Are the Days of Our Lives. This is the 1991 re release on Parlophone. Is that? Now go over the albums. There's still some Queen albums I'm missing, but I'm hopefully going to find them all. The first one I have is Queen 2. This is about 1974. This is the second album. See, I do know the song Seven Seas Arrive, but other than that, I really need to kind of hear this album. I don't really know Queen to the Great Seas. I've only really listened to three of their albums in full. But uh, I should have you listen to them. So songs there. Uh, the band with Freddie Mercury on lead vocals, John Deacon on bass, Brian May on guitar, and Roger Taylor on drums. Needs a bit of gluing, I should have done this before I made the video. Bears the inner sleeve of the lyrics. It also comes in a plain white inner. And we're on EMI label, 1974. Now look, they, 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 the bone on the side, they've called side one, side white, and they call side two, side black. That's quite cool, I think. So there's that. There's that one. Then we get Sheer Heart Attack, also from 1974. I know the song's Killer Queen and Now I'm Here, but the rest I've yet to hear. But I know this is a very popular Queen album. It's very popular amongst Queen fans. In a sleeve of the lyrics. And on EMI, still. Now this next one is the first time I'm showing this on my channel. This will be my next vinyl update, uh, one I recently purchased. It is their classic, A Night at the Opera. I don't really know, you're my best friend, love of my life, Bohemian Rhapsody, of course everyone knows that, and God Save the Queen as well. So those are the ones I kind of know. But I really like the cover. It's like their cool, it's like their logo, and it's like embossed. This is 1975? See. Yeah, 1975. Skate full sleeve with the lyrics. In a sleeve, really cool picture of the band on stage there. And it's original. On your mic. Then we get, and I, and I don't have a date at the races either, but I'm hopefully going to find that as well. But here's 1977's News of the World. I know the hits, We Will Rock You and We Are The Champions, but I don't really know anything else other than that. 
but there's a the songs there. It's quite a cool cover art, I must say. There's a lot of Queen Queen's arms are just cool, not because of the music, but also because they have cool covers too. Is it cool? It's kind of very similar to the Queen 2 album, in a way, with the design. <coughs> so yeah, 1977, Isleve, where it's now. We pictured a band, little picture of the band down there, down there. It's the label. Says that one. I'm also <clears throat> missing 1978's album Jazz and also the Live Killers Live album, but I'm hopefully going to get them when I can find them. Says so that one. But we skipped to 1980 with The Game. This is my favourite Queen album. This is one of the ones I've heard in in full. This is probably my favourite Queen album. And it's a great album. I mean, you've got Play the Game, Another One Bites the Dust, Crazy Little Thing Called Love and Save Me as well. But there's also great ones like Need Your Loving Tonight, uh, Dragon Attack and Rocket Prime Drive as well. So there's the songs there. Yeah, it's a great album. And it's also cool with the design as well. With like, it's got a cool picture to band, but it's the cover's like really shiny. You know, it, like when you hold it up to a light, it like shines. It looks really cool with that. It's also got a nice smooth like texture to it as well. You can see that there. Yeah, it's a cool picture band there and the leather jackets. I really like this album cover. I mean to do um, a video about my favourite album covers. This would definitely be one of them because it's just it's got a really cool cover art. In a sleeve, lyrics, and just a plain boring label. <laughs> There's nice pictures and the lyrics. All my Queen albums have the original albums, but also have these white sleeves because I bought them because these were bought from a collection um, well I actually bought them from uh, <clears throat> a Solkitts market but they some of them come from, probably come from the same collector but some of these probably come from the um, same collector so then in 1980 we also had the Flash Gordon soundtrack which Queen did the music for I haven't yet seen the film Flash but it uh, should hopefully be good and I only really know the song Flash's theme but uh, I should hopefully hear the rest of them should hopefully be pretty good I really like the cover, it's a really nice colourful cover. It's one of those colourful covers of the 80s pretty much. It's a very 80s kind of cover. But it looks like the 1980 again. So it's main, from what I know it's mainly an instrumental arm except for a couple of songs are, I've got lyrics including the Flash theme and one called The Hero as well. But I really like the design of this, I think that looks really cool. I mean you've got the record there and you've got the sleeve here. I think that looks really cool there. There's the label. In. This could be quite a problem. Then for the next two years, there wasn't anything new from Queen. Um, after 1980, it wasn't really new from Queen. They toured The Flash and The Game. Uh, but they did put out in 1981 a Greatest Tits. Now, of course, everyone has pretty much seen this. I'm pretty sure everybody has this in their record collection. Yeah, a load of great hits on here, many of which I know from the album, many of which are the only ones I know from the albums, but uh, yeah, really cool there, it's the band. As you can see, Freddie's now grown a new trademark moustache, <laughs> this later became his trademark look. Innocently, with all the information about the tracks, where they come from, what albums they're on, there's the label. So is that one? Queen Greatest Hits. If you're not a Queen fan, I would recommend you get this and maybe a couple of their popular albums, but uh, yeah, great record there, The Greatest Hits. Then the Queen Queen emerged with a new album in 1982 called Hot Space. Uh, this is the album that Queen fans really hate. Um, they really like to like, bash in this album. Um, I've only heard the first side and it's, it's all right. I mean, Stay in Power is a bit rubbish, <laughs> but Body Language is pretty good. Um, but I really like the under song Under Pressure, which is a duet with David Bowie. David Bowie. And there's also a song for John Lennon called Life Is Real, which I don't know what I like, but uh, But again, I really like the cover for this one. It's very colourful, you know. 
I mean, they went disco on this album. I mean, Freddie Mercury and John Deacon really liked the idea of going disco, but Roger Taylor and Brian May were very much against that, but Freddie and John won the argument. But, uh, yeah, it's not great. But this is 1982. And EMI. Still. The label kind of matches the kind of cover art. Oh, anyway. But I do like the inner sleeve design as well, so it's very... Uh, the album design's good. I do like the album design, very colourful. Even the music, if the music isn't great, but from what I've heard so far. So there's the hot swing. Then in 1984, they kind of returned to good with my fat work music, with the works. Uh, Queen got back on track with this album. Um, of course, we have Radio Gaga. Um, it's a hard life. I want to break free and how to fall. There's also things like, is this the world we created as well? So yeah, I've only heard bits of it. Rather than it's a good album. Let's picture the band there. Lyrics. There's lit. Yep, hold the right way up. In case I was holding a bit upside down. <laughs> Then in 1986, we got A Kind of Magic. Again, I really like this album. I think it's a really good one. I uh, like One Vision. That's a great song. Um, kind of Magic. Friends Will Be Friends. Who Wants to Live Forever as well. And uh, One Year of Love is good as well. So yeah, really good album from the 80s, 1986. Now at this point. And again, great cover. I really like that cartoony. It looks very cool. Very 80s kind of cover. It's really cool. With the cartoon, it's really, really nice. Really good cover. <laughs> In a sleeve, and here's the record. And then, 1986, we got a live album called Live Magic, which is from the kind of Kind of Magic tour. Really good performances. Different performances recorded at um, Wembley Stadium, Nebworth Park, and in Budapest in Hungary as well. So yeah, really cool, great performances, you know. I really like the covers. Oi! <laughs> Trying to think about that. And I really like the cover as well. It's a really cool picture. So the back. Freddie there, look as if he's rocking away there, so is Brian. And the gateful picture is just as cool. That, you know, helicopter going over, like, the crowd of people, you know, I think that's a really cool photo. And uh, is in the sleeve of the band, and it's information about the album, and EMI label, 1986. So there's quite, there's like loads of great Queen live concerts, like Wembley 86, Live Aid, of course, as we all know. But uh, yeah, there's also great Queen live out, great live recordings that you can get on YouTube, so I do recommend you check them out. Then it would be another three years before Queen would emerge with another album, and they did with The Miracle in 1989. Yeah, 1989. Again, a really good album, I must say. It's very 80s. because. By the the game in 1980, they used they started using the synthesizers on the uh, nine years earlier, at the start of the decade with the game, and by 1989, they're, they're they've gone from like the full synthesizer sound. We've got things like Party, uh, The Miracle, I Want It All, um, Scandal, Was It All Worth It as well is a great song, um, and the cover's really good too. It's like a really cool kind of cover. I think it's kind of the 80s equivalent for Photoshop. <laughs> In the back, the fun thing is like pointing out whose eyes are what. So there's Freddy's, Rogers. Uh, let's try and find one of John. You can see John there, and there's Brian as well down there. Because the, uh, the, you can see them on the, the cover as well. In a sleeve there with the band. Nice picture, but unfortunately, by this point, Freddy there was starting to look really gaunt and thin and pale, you know, as a result of his AIDS. You know, battle. <clears throat> There's looks to every song. 
and the label were now on Parlophone. So they've now moved from EMI to Parlophone, so that's quite cool there. Of course the Beatles recorded in Parlophone in the 60s as well, so yeah, two great on the label there. Yeah, it's a bit of gluing down this part, but uh, anyway. so is that one? Nice Inch Nines, the milk. And the last record I have to show is 1990. We're into the 1990s now with Innuendo. Um, I haven't yet heard it, but I know the tracks. I'm going slightly mad. The show must go on and these are the days of our lives and there's also the title track Innuendo as well but the song songs I have and the greatest it's two compilations I've got on CD which I really would like to get in vinyl. Might get the reissue of that. Um, but um, so there's the songs there. Uh, I'm not too sure what the cover art's all about. It's kind of a bit mad if you ask me. <laughs> it's a block like juggling or something like that with like these balls and a banana on it. It's very mad. Like It's like kind of juggling in a way. <laughs> Back. I'm not sure that's all about, but there's you know sleeve with the band. We like the way John looks there, he looks a bit quite funny there. It's Freddie Rod Roger? Yes yeah, Roger. And there's Brian. Lyrics. There's a photo there of the band. Uh, this was the last album with uh, with Freddie before he passed away. Uh, but there were a lot of things that Freddie had um made before he passed away. They made a 1995 album made in heaven. But is that really a Queen album? I don't really have it, but is that really a Queen album? I don't know. You can make your own decision now. But anyway, Parlophone, 1991. So there we go, that's my Queen records. Hope you liked this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, and uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you again, hopefully, next time.